in the bench spots 84 Errol Spence and uh, Peterson are looking to be locking locking hands early 2018 their expected fight is supposed to be announced on Saturday uh, how do you call it Saturday okay on this Saturday for the, there's going to be an announcement on Saturday for their fight which is looking to be scheduled on the 13th of January 2018 this this is really out of the blue for me because a response was rumored to be not getting the fights he was looking for they said people were scared of him and nobody wants to fight him so he was hard pressed for a fighter so it looks like finally somebody has stepped up in Peterson so this, this is good news for Errol Spence and his, uh, his fan boys, his fan base. <laughs> Lamont Peterson. Peterson was supposed to be in place to, he won uh, one of the titles, I think in the WBA or so. And he was supposed to be in place to challenge Keith Thurman's WBA title in the Waterway Division. But he abandoned the, the title and it was, it looks like, he didn't think Itema was going to come soon enough for him to get his chance, so he dropped the title and he's rather he's going after Eric Spence, Eric Spence instead. This is really a, a short move because he has showed the balls and the hat to get into the to get in the ring with Eric Spence. <laughs> Looking at the fact that everybody is avoiding him. He's, he's rumored to be the boogeyman of the waterway division. So for Lamont Peterson to drop his title and go after a response is really commendable. And he should be given the props for that. As for this fight, this, this is probably the worst style matchup for a response. The worst. I know people will be quick to jump to the conclusion that a response is going to knock out <laughs> Lamont Peterson and all that. It's going to stop him. His fan boys are going to go crazy with this fight. But this is this is the nightmare watch out for a response. This is because if you really, if you watch the fight between a response and Kell Brook closely, you realize that a response was being dominated by Kell Brook. A response doesn't seem to be really comfortable with uh, people who are, how do you call it, outboxers. People who box are not willing to engage with him. People who are clever with their who are clever in the ring. They know how to box on the outside. Kerbrook was dominating Errol Spence in the earlier parts of their fight. Until his eye caved in and he couldn't he couldn't continue. So if Lamont Peterson is able to exhibit those star, that style of fight for the entire duration of the fight, Errol Spence is going to be in for a long a long ride. A long uh, tumultuous ride. Because he doesn't seem really comfortable with that. That's what I noticed in the Kell Brook fight. And Lamont Peterson is a, an excellent boxer as well. The fights, all the fights I've seen Lamont Peterson, he showed really excellent boxing. I think except for that Cuban guy. The fight that he lost. But his fight with Danny Garcia and some other fights, I've forgotten the opponents. He showed excellent ox, ox boxing skills. Which is really... Which is even more, if not on par with uh, Kell Brook's uh, display. So he was able to <coughs> maintain such displays in the in his fight with Errol Spence. Errol Spence is going to be in serious trouble. Really serious trouble. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that fight transpires. I didn't really see, I didn't really have an idea this was a possible matchup. It was really out of the blue, like I said. But it's really interesting. It's gonna we are, we are going to witness how a response is going to overcome somebody who, who is really excellent on the outside, who doesn't get engaged or necessarily with his opponent, <coughs> and it's a shoot boxer in the ring. It's going to be really interesting. So we're going to see how that pans out and how if the, as the fight gets closer, I'm going to give you more previews previews on it. So that's all, that's all for today. Thank you for your time and catch you in the next one. Bye for now.